Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Cloud Security Posture Management, or CSPM. And this allows you to apply frameworks and governance standards to your cloud environments, and then gives you visibility into how compliant you are with those standards. We're gonna be taking a look at how to create your first policy. We're gonna look at how to run an assessment based on a framework, and then analyze the data provided so that we can begin to solve some of the issues that are identified. We're also gonna take a quick look at GSL, which is a Cloud Guard specific language for building custom rules. And the best part is it takes no development skills. There's a ton more, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here's our welcome hub. And this contains everything that you'll need to start utilizing the CSPM module. Now, to set up your first CSPM policy, super easy. We're just gonna go here to manage policies. We're gonna add a policy. And you can do this at the environmental level or organizational level. We're actually gonna do this at the cloud platform level, which allows us to build a rule that will apply to any environment that is onboarded to your AWS, Azure, GCP, or Kubernetes. Now for the demo today, we're gonna look at the NIST, but we have many. We can see HIPAA, PCI, best practices. And for today's demo, we're gonna do NIST. So we select the rule set that we want. We're going to do the newest one. And here you can select the version, whichever one that you need. We're going to go with the latest. Now, the next part is to set up a custom notification. You could select something that's already pre-built. Like here, I could select to email myself. But let's look at a custom. Now, once you've named it and given it a description, you can set up alerts. You can set up the schedule, designate the specific email addresses that you would like to send this to. You can do compliance, which will send you a number of reports. Or if you want intelligence, you can get an executive summary. Next, you can come down here and you can select exactly how you would like to be notified, whether it's through email, SNS, you can do an HTTP endpoint. We also have integrations with things like Slack, Teams, AWS Security Hub, or Microsoft Defender. Okay, and that really is how simple it is to create your first CSPM policy. But let's take it a step further than that. I wanna show you what it looks like to run an assessment so that you can see the data provided when a rule set is actually applied to an environment. So let's jump over to our rule sets tab and I'll show you more. Now, here we are in the rule sets tab. And again, you could search for any different framework or governance standard that you would like. We have a ton of rule sets, over 1500 built in out of the box. But for this one, we're gonna stick with the AWS NIST 800. Now, when you select the framework that you would like to look at, you can see a whole bunch of data here. We're looking at the um, latest version of the 853 Rev 5, and there are 732 rules inside of this framework. I'm not gonna try and show you all those today. That would make this video very long and probably not all that exciting, but we are gonna run this assessment against one of my AWS environments here. Again, be sure to select the uh, rule set version that you would like, select your environment, and we hit run. Okay, now that our report has run, we can see that we are 96.53% compliant. You can also see a couple of great graphs up here. They give you a breakdown of your failed test by rule severity, as well as the type of entity tested. And if you hover over these, you actually will get a percentage breakdown. You can see the same data reflected in what I think is a much more human readable, useful format down below in the chart. We also have some great toggle switches here that you can use to uh, show past entities or not, include remediation actions or not, show exclusions or not. These are really handy depending on who you wanna send this data to. And speaking of sending this data out to your colleagues, we have a bunch of great export options for you. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, now that I have this data, what do I do with it? Well, let me show you. We know we've got a couple of uh, critical severity issues here. And let's take a look at what it might be like to actually try and fix one of these. Here we've got a critical issue where we have S3 buckets that are configured with public access. This is not recommended and we've got some of our most critical data facing the internet. If I expand this out, you'll get a quick description of why this is a problem and then we jump into our remediation suggestions. So you can see that we've got remediation suggestions from the AWS console if you wanted to do this manually. We also have Terraform configuration files. And if you are going to use these, just keep in mind that you will need to go and grab the actual asset name from the metadata. 
And that can be found if we were to look at one of these on this preview entry button here. Now we also include the remediation steps from the command line, some reference documentation, and then you can see GSL, which I'm actually gonna show you a little bit more about this in a little bit. This is a proprietary language that CloudGuard is kind of built off of, but this gives you the current settings for it. Now you can see we have two different entities here, Cloud Center of Excellence and Credit Card Information. Both of these are in North Virginia region, and we've got some options over here. Again, you can preview these if you wanna see the configuration metadata. We could exclude this finding if for some reason we had already vetted this and we knew this was not an issue. And we can also go ahead and click to configure remediation using one of our cloud bots. Here we're going to remediate by rule set. And we've got the 853 ref five selected. We are looking at the specific environment here that this test was run against. We can also remediate by entity name. And so we're going to keep the credit card information ID here. And we're gonna search for the cloud bot that we wanna use. And so there's a bunch of cloud bots that are included with CloudGuard by default. You can also create custom ones if you don't have something that meets the need of your environment. We are looking for S3 block all public access. So we're gonna select that, click add, add some comments, and then we're gonna save this remediation. Okay, so I mentioned GSO earlier as being part of a proprietary language that's built within CloudGuard. And I wanna show you quickly why it's superior to what our competitors are doing. In other products, you may have to learn a SQL or another query language in order to build custom policy rules. Here, this is human readable. There are no DevOps or development skills required. If you can understand simple context, then you can write a policy rule. And I wanna show you how to do that. Now, as I mentioned, this is really easy. This is honestly, it's like building policies and rules with building blocks. Let's stick with the example from earlier of our S3 bucket within AWS. And so we're gonna pick which environment we are building inside of. We wanna do builder instead of free text. And we're gonna scroll down until we find storage and S3. Now you'll see we have actions, should have, should not have, where. This is pretty simple. So our S3 bucket should have, open quotes, access public block, close scope, close quote. Now, if I wanted to expand this out from here, I could do that. I could add any additional parameters or we can go ahead and run this test. Now, in order to do that, we're going to go down here and select our environment and we're gonna run the test. These rules can also be saved. So if you wanted to save this rule, what you would do is make a copy of a framework or rule set that you wanted to add this rule into, and then you could just import it there. And finally, I wanted to show you uh, a quick look at our posture overview. So what this is gonna allow us to do is get a very quick snapshot of all of our posture across different rule sets and frameworks. So here you can see we've got 11 environments onboarded into this particular CloudGuard tenant. Nine of them are in the Americas region. We've got two that are outside of that. But you can see this is broken down by the different rule sets that we have. And it gives you an average look at your particular compliance with that framework, which again, is just a really great way to get a, a quick look at what you are, are currently working with. You can export all of this out to share with your colleagues. Uh, and you can also run assessments here as well. So this has been a really quick look at our CSP module. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions or want to see more information about this, feel free to reach out to the team for a demo and uh, we'll be sure to be in touch. Thank you so much.